All right, what's up everybody? Uh, Travis here from the Moto Aftermath Show. Now, we were at Redbud last week. Obviously, there's some downtime. Uh, so a lot of bench racing ensued. So the following is us bench racing with one of our buddies we don't run into a lot. We've been trying to get him to come on the show with us. Uh, he's just been busy scheduling conflicts, that kind of stuff. So no big deal. We'll get him on eventually. But um, yeah. This was the uh, discussion that ensued about the uh, greatest of all time, who's the greatest right now riding, all that kind of stuff. So enjoy. Don't forget to smash that like button, follow us on Facebook, and uh, click those Amazon links down below. Go on Amazon, buy something, buy toothbrush, buy whatever. Just click the link and then go buy it. That way, gets us a small slice, helps us out. So here we go, our discussion, greatest of all times. Sorry for the film quality. I just set the tripod and hit record, but the sound is all there. Just get this rolling here. Let's fucking first start off with it. You can look at the stash he's got, and that'll tell you everything you need to know about him. Yep. Just like so, our cows. Hey, man. So you, I'm so a man you wanna, of bets. You want to honestly tell me, you want to honestly try to tell me that if Kenny was healthy, Eli would be spanking Kenny right now. Not spanking him, but definitely just as fast and beat him. I mean, look at, like look at every pass. week? Or? Let, let's, let's look at the pass. All right. Tomac went on to a new team. Kenny whapped that at you. Yes. Okay. We'll we'll go with that. Not, yes. not any new team. Your beloved Kawasaki team. We'll, we'll go with that. Oh, great. Um, the love Kawasaki. <laughs> you want to get in on this? Cause we're yeah. We're filming. Yeah, you're right a Kawasaki rider, man. I'm a traitor to Yamaha. I hate it, brother. Uh, it. All right. Uh -huh. So so. Kawi tried running Villapoto set up. Villapoto just rides different than anybody else. Well, that's Let's be that's honest. A damn truth. Yeah. So, Eli couldn't hang on Villapoto's setup, right? So, they changed it up, and now look at him. He's waxing ass. Yes, Kenny fell, hurt himself. Then, I was going to say, do you want to talk about the first two rounds this then, year? Then, coincidentally... Let's talk, let's talk about A1 and San Diego. Yes, yes, okay. Kenny, Kenny how, Rex. How much did Kenny win by? Hey, all I'm saying, Kenny, and Kenny whooped Eli ass. Yes. Like, I love Eli, but man, but I don't then, see him fucking waxing that ass this But year. all I'm saying is, Eli threw a new setup in. Kenny coincidentally hurt himself. A beast. Was it Kenny or was it the bike? Maybe both. Uh, I think Kenny is the fastest dude on the planet when he's feeling it. I, think, I love Eli. I think but, um, three years ago... Eli fell in the start and caught Kenny's bitch ass in uh... That was 250 days. I get what you're saying. That was 250s. Kenny's a better 450 rider. All I gotta say is when Kenny's feeling, I think he's the fastest dude on the planet. Because the difference between him and Eli is Kenny can do it for 35 minutes. Eli can only do it in short stints. Look, I love Eli. He's the fastest dude right now with Kenny being gone. I'm just saying. It's like the Carmichael there Stewart was, There was one. So, okay. The point that Eli was the fastest dude on the planet was in 15 when he rode that Honda. But then, so... Well, let's talk about the fact so, that... So, Kenny what? wasn't in it, right? Kenny had a broken he wasn't, back. Yeah, he, he wasn't in it. So, yeah, Eli was the fastest dude. No, Kenny was in it. Though. No, Kenny was riding no. with a broken back, though. Shattered. He was riding, but he was riding with a oh, broken yeah, back. Yeah, okay, yeah. Eli takes two shoulders out. Red Bull! Eli takes two shoulders out. Kenny waxes. Can we blame it on an injury? No, I don't believe in that. I just <laughs> think that if you put Kenny and Eli, I think that they'll be like Stu and Carmichael back in the day. But I think the thing is, is that if I'm going to pick a championship, I think Kenny is mentally stronger between the two. I think Kenny's mentally stronger, Eli's physically faster. Kenny makes less mistakes. I think that's the thing. I think if you were going all out speed, I think Eli is without a doubt. Oh, you just said Kenny was. You just said two <laughs> seconds ago Kenny was hands down the fastest dude. He is, but that what means. What do you cons want? But consistently. We're talking about active duty right now. We'll get oh, in. We'll get into speed retirement. Speed one, hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey. Hands down, Dungey was a solid third place when every fucking big boy was in it. But. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm but, so, but I said, I'm, I'm talking about, let me preface my comments, that I'm talking about over a season and over throughout a moto. I'm not talking about overall speed. 
You were just talking about overall speed, yeah. now you change. No, Eli is the fastest dude, Ross. You're like a goddamn Democrat, man. You fucking, <laughs> you like this and you like that, but you like go. whatever is going good at the time, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I call it hey, how it goes. Hey, all I'm saying is, I watched Kenny at Loretta's in 2008, and I said that kid was going to be special. What happened? World champion at 15. He, he was special, but, hey, man, I'm not going to back. And who's more naturally hey, talented? Tama, I'm a Cowie guy for life, but. Straight up like Tomac before he went to Cali. Who's a, who's more naturally talented, Kenny or Eli? Because I'd say Kenny that's, all day that's long. That's hard to say because I just think that this shit that just Kenny depends, can do. man. Like Eli really showed some speed and soupy, and he's never been a soupy guy. So can you say it was his bike setup, or can you say it was you know his his actual talent? I just think that. Since Kenny's been on a 450 when he's healthy, nobody's beat him straight up outdoors. The two out of the three years that he's been healthy, nobody's yeah, but, beat him. Yeah, all right, so he's been healthy two out of three years. And that years, includes Ryan, then, that then includes Ryan Dungey. Tomac was out, and then he came back, and he had a piss poor bike because they tried running somebody else's setup besides his. So you can say, you can say yays or nays, but it is what it is. All I got to say is Kenny has two championships. All right, let's say, does Kenny, do you think Kenny, when he comes back, whoops Eli Tomac's ass? Uh, yes. I think it'll take him a, a full season of Supercross to get back. I think I think by outdoors next year, Kenny is just... Okay, so here's my question to you. If, if Kenny was riding like he was last year right now, who would be the points leader? Would Kenny if be the point? butts or what? If no, no, no. Villapoto was still in the game, I think he'd be smacking Kenny's ass. <laughs> uh, that, okay, this is a whole different oh, now. Oh, God. Now, now, now we gotta get into that. Now you're, gotta, you're, oh, you're fucking okay. if and butts or what? Okay, you know? okay. Like, so this goes to a question that I put, that I put uh, out Villapoto there. Villapoto would smack that ass either way. Okay, so who would smack that ass if Carmichael and Stewart from back in the day were out there? Oh, Carmichael would smack Stewart's ass. And Stewart would smack everybody else's ass. No. Yes. It, it'd go. Carmichael, Villapoto, no. Stewart, oh Kenny. Oh my god. Oh god. No, time out. Carmichael, oh my god. Villapoto, Stewart, Tomac, Kenny. Oh my god. Dunge. Oh Jesus. Oh, you debates, are killing debates, me. debates, debates, huh? You are Carmichael really and Stewart, me. really, really, because we've had this conversation a million times, and now you're wavering. I will. Cut. Carmichael will whap Stewart I all day. I will give you Carmichael will. number one all day long. I'm not going to argue that point with you at all. Carmichael is the best rider there ever has been. Period. Hey, let's. Be period. Outdoor. And Stewart. Outdoor. And Stewart. You can say. Well, I'm going to say overall because he's very McGrath, solid indoors. Well, McGrath, Killed it indoors. McGrath didn't do shit his whole career outdoors. What's he got? Let, one fucking title? Let's say though. Let's say. Okay. Carmichael Wap, Stewart's ass. Stewart, the year Villapoto and him were out there, Stewart cockily said, hey, this is all about wins. He was out and of then points. lost seven in a row. <laughs> he lost seven Bill in a Poto row. smacked that ass. Okay, and what year was this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What year was this? 2014? I don't How know. How many concussions year. and navicular and blown on knees that Stewart had at that point? There we go, there we go. This is just like the fucking Pike and Dean Wilson thing. <laughs> yeah, you're talking Dean about Wilson, Dean. Oh, Dean yeah. Wilson's been out for three years, but Pike's still whooping that ass. You hey, know all what I'm saying, saying is you want to talk Not about a chance. You, 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 you always talk about equations, throwing all the variables in. That's what I'm saying, so, so hey, throw the variables hey, in. Hey, so I'm so saying. You think if okay, let let's let's play if it trust a man with yellow stuff in his water bottle. Let, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Screwdrivers. Oh, really? Okay, anyway, oh, anyway, let's, let's play oh, let's man. play if and but you can't want some. hang with screwdrivers or you want some? No. Which one? <laughs> you can't hang or you want some? I, I was gonna say take it up a notch for Harvey Wallbanger. You know what that is? No. <laughs> oh, God, you had to Galliano to the screwdriver, and now you're doing a Harvey it, Wallbanger. El Galliano. No, what the hell is that? It's like licorice. Oh, yeah. Lick? Oh, no, I'm not big on licorice. Oh, yeah. We'll they cut that out. Hey, man, I'm trying to cut the middleman out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just cut the middleman out. Okay. Okay. I don't know what a Harvey Wallbanger is. I know. Is that like a Wisconsin, Minnesota what? thing? Or? Yeah. Hey, that's like race cat. Hey, I'm not okay. gonna hate because you ride cowies. That's we're good. Me yeah, and you are friends. What is, what is, Me and you are, we're we're buddies now. I don't even know you. So we're you buddies. Got, you guys got a fraternity that fucking nobody knows about. Somewhere. somewhere. Huh? In that conversation. I guess so. Okay. Somewhere. Okay. Somewhere. All right. So let's go back to playing if fans butts or what. So you want to tell me? Let Let's say Dean Wilson doesn't get hurt the rest of the year. Okay. Pike stays healthy the rest of the year. They both come into Soupy healthy next year. 
who comes out on top in points. Oh, my boy Dino. You really think Dino is going to be bad? Dino, hey. Dino has been healthy all year. Pike's year. riding with a fucking broken wrist. Dino hasn't even come close to a fourth, bro. But, uh, all right, so but, 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 he but, hasn't but, but, been but, but, but. at Hangtown since 2013, oh, right? Jesus. Get the fuck off. So you oh, can't, you can't Stewart. put the since variables 20, in there. Since 2013, how many times do you ride it in the 250s? That track is not that hey, fucking my man. different. You want to put variables in there for me oh, to solve the equation. You got to put all variables in, you know? Oh, Pike's been healthy all the way up till this year. Okay. So, so next year. When did we'll, Dean come we'll, back? When did Dean come hey, back? Last time out. Year? We'll take, we'll <laughs> no, take, before, we'll before take Supercross though. out. Next year outdoor, Dino's whooping that ass. Okay. All I gotta say, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's do this here. Cause you're cause you're a betting man, so let's let's place a bet here. We putting a mustache on it though. <laughs> See, all about are you are you are you committed enough to put a mustache on it? I mean, from okay. February to July. A mustache I gotta grow from February to July. That's what this one is. No. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, right. if you can't bet February to July mustache, you know, I tried getting him. I'm like, hey, look, let's bet this weekend. Two month mustache. No. And he's a he's a puss. I'll be in on a February to July mustache next year. That Pike beats Wilson from Millville. We'll just we'll just literally go by results from Millville to the end of the year because that's when Wilson came back last year. So he's raced all these tracks starting in Millville. So on. he'll be back a a year full. Yes. But Pike's been back three years full. We'll go with that. Well, he's still seeing the track, so you can't, your argument about he hasn't seen him since 2013 is hey, invalid. All I'm saying is you're saying you're trying to throw out there Tomac and and Roxon oh, being Tomac and Roxon being on, healthy. Hold on. We're not even. We to gotta that. say we gotta say to, or, uh, Dean Wilson and Pike are healthy. Dean Wilson three years out. Pike. Has a wimpy wrist injury, which is not as bad as me. I don't care what you say. Bro, just throw it I in. really hope we see him tonight. Hey, if we see Kenny rolling around, I'm gonna stop him and be like, "So this guy, hey, <laughs> that Tomac, him. would wax you right now." Goddamn right, and I'll say it to his goddamn. I face. wish you would have been around yesterday when I was sitting in the kiddie pool and Pike rolled by because I waved at him like a fucking moron. Like, hey, look hey, bro. Look hey, at this dumbass in the kiddie pool. What's up, bro? All I gotta say, I is... I would have stopped him and been like, "So he." thinks that Wilson's gonna beat you. Hey, and Weston any will, motherfucker that kicks their bike over, that was one time, is, dude. N I'm not a fan of it. It was Passion. one time. One time, dude. Passion. One time. I'd have been pissed too. All I'm saying is, is Weston Wimpy, came man. from uh, Weston came from nothing and look where he's at now. Dean what Wilson had Dean a factory Wilson ride. Do? Dean Wilson had a factory ride right he out of the He came from ride. Scotland, went to Canada, raced Canada, then came over here. All I'm saying is, is that Dino's never really produced even that championship. He wasn't the fastest. How player. many championships does Pike have? He's been in the 450 class his whole career. He's How many championships? Ha, okay. Ha, ha. Even if he was on a 250F, he would have never put a championship. And in. when Dino won his championship, who was faster? Baggett? What? what? Oh, oh, like Baggett he was still faster. still got a championship. Yeah, it's because he got like Dungy. I mean, Dungy was never faster in Villapoto, but still got championships. Because fucking what? Baggett was faster. You can't whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute here. How many years did Dunge beat Villa? One time. Straight up? One time. Yeah. Straight up. One time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Every championship Dungy has won other than 2016 has an asterisk by it. Because yeah, no one was right. in the fucking class. That's what I'm saying. Okay, all right. Yeah, cool. no, 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 hey, no, 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 no. Dungy's no, no. only beat Villa opponent for a championship no, that's what one I'm saying. time. Villa Poto gets hurt, Dungey wins. Dungey only beat okay, him one time, right. and that was that's 10. I thought you were going the other that direction. Was, that, was was like, that was 2010 when Villa Poto broke my boy. his femur. Villa Poto is my boy since he was on 85. And all I'm saying is that Stewart and Carmichael are faster than him. And they're prime. I'll give you Carmichael, not Stewart. Stewart. Really? Stewart was the same speed as him for 25 minutes. Hey, man. When Stu called Villa Poto out, Villa Poto trumped. And That's all what? that matters. Stewart won the other half of the season. But when Stewart ran his mouth, he didn't run his mouth to Villapoto. He didn't win. He was out of the he points. He got whacked. He was out of the points. Exactly. He was out of the points from the beginning, but then he said, oh, yeah, this he is all about wins. And he then got second that Villapoto year. whooped that ass. He got second that year. He got Villa second that year. Villa doesn't have a 24 and no, He doesn't have a 24 and 0 season, man. Okay, so all, no, okay, but if, we're talking, if we're talking about Who does sense Stu? If we're talking about, exactly. No if we're one. talking about championships, you want me to but look I up? But I still don't think 
Stewart's better than Villapoto. He's racing David Villeman. Car no, he, he did not by, go 24 no with him, Carmichael. He was beating everybody by a minute. He had Villeman, Kevin Windham, Tim Ferry, Tim Ferry, Mike Alessi when he was in his get prime days. Mike fucking Alessi. <laughs> okay, so who did, who did Carmichael it, beat? It who wasn't. Did? It wasn't. Dungey. Okay. It wasn't Villapoto. By the way, let's let's also like, let's, let's also mark that anytime Dungey has raced Stewart and Stewart's been healthy, Stewart has beat him every time. Dungey. Yeah, I'll go with Dungey. Okay, so does every that Every time make... he was fucking healthy, he didn't beat Villapoto though. And he didn't beat Stewart. Who? Anytime Stu and Ryan Dungey raced together and Stewart was healthy, Stewart beat him in the points. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll go with that. It was okay. Dungey though. There's asterisks next to his name on every championship. Okay, so can you want me to list off all of Skinner's Other than 16. You want me to list Other than 16. 16 was the one I'll give him that he flat out won. Hey, want, he, he and, ran. And he was the guy. Hey, that you want me to list off Stewart accomplishments? No you want but, me to... was Villapoto retired? Well. All I'm saying is, is that, that Stewart. He that he stamp it. That he can't help. All I'm saying is, is that Stewart has his second most accomplishments next to anybody other than Carmichael. I mean, at I that will, point, you I can will throw give, anybody in there right, retired. Alright, time out. You can give Stu that. You can give Stu that, <laughs> but Stu had a lot longer of a career than hold on, Villapoto. Hold, hold on a second. Right hold on a second. Wrong? Hold, wrong. Hold on a second. Wrong, Look how many says. years Stewart was injured. Look how many years Stewart was injured. Dude, Villapoto raced two outdoor seasons his whole life. But look how many outdoors. years has Stewart missed Supercross and outdoors. Look how many years Stewart missed Supercross and outdoors. And I got a question for you. If Villapoto had to race Carmichael, he wouldn't have won either. He wouldn't have won, but I think he would have got more wins than Stu. Bullshit. Not even close. Not even close. Speculation, man. No, dude. No facts. Speculation. Facts. Facts. How are they facts? Because Carmichael never lost an outdoor championship. That doesn't mean they're facts. They are facts. How are they facts? When you win every moto. Did Villapoto race that season? Who did Villapoto have to race when he won his championship? Did Villapoto race that season? No, he didn't. Because he was so on that's a 250. Not facts. He was on a 250. That's not facts. And Carmichael was four seconds a lap faster than him on a 450. Facts are proven. It's proven. That's that's subjective that you're oh saying. Oh my god, dude. Here we go. Here that's we subjective. go. Subjective. Villapoto is not the second greatest of all time. He's not. He's just not. I don't know, man. He's not. This dude never won a fucking Des Nations on a 125. Because he never, got, in, won he never got invited. He Why was that? He literally never got invited. Why was that? I don't know. He was the champion every year. So why? Hey, you man. tell me. You tell me. All you're saying is subjective things, not facts. Where, okay, so where's the facts that RV would win more than a car, Michael? Oh, it's not. That's all speculation. Yo! That's my point. We like this shit. I'm just saying. Actually, yeah, cool yeah, neighbors. Could you turn that off? It's like, I'm going to get fucking blocked on YouTube, bro. I'm just saying, dude. Stuart Carmichael would wax RV's ass, and that's the end of it. Just Not go back chance, and watch. Man. Just go Not back chance. and watch. Watch, go back. Go back and watch 2008 season and watch Stuart ride. What's that mean? No, I'm not saying, watch him ride, watch him ride, watch him ride. You really think that in three years that all of a sudden they got that much faster than what Stewart and Carmichael were going? Because yeah. I can guarantee you they did. Yeah, they went from carbureted bikes to fuel injected. Okay, so put that speed on a fuel injected bike. Then what? That's all subjective. Exactly. <laughs> Here we go. Dude. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Hey man. I can do this all day. So can I, dude. I'm I just still, telling you. I still got Stu in second, man. Hey, I got I'm not Michael, Stu, and Bill. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm Bill not taking a solid any, third. Because, I'm not man, taking anything away from Stu, I, but they are real close. I don't. Oh, I, I always agree look on at that. his nations when he went out fucking one on his 250F. He's a nasty. everybody. He's nasty. Yeah. And I was also He's there, nasty. and Carmichael was not 100%. Hey man, but then you could throw Chad Reed into the mix and say, hey, that fucking year of whoa, whoa, 2000 whoa, 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 and whatever whoa, whoa, when he had whoa, whoa, that whoa. disease, he should have beat Carr. Chad, you know, Chad, like, Chad Reed, in my opinion, is not even anywhere near the top five of greatest of all time. Because what has he really done? Won two Supercross titles. Are okay, you so fucking putting who do you win? Chad who do you, who do you, in front of Chad Reed? Yes. Who did Chad Reed win a championship against? I you can't know. even think about it. You I don't, don't know. know. And who do you win an outdoor title against? Ben fucking Townley. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure the year before, Ben, ben Townley, Townley was a beast. Let's be honest. RV beat him 18 out of 24 motos. That's true. Hey. That is hey, fact. Hey. That is fact. That's, that's fact. Is, that's not even hey, speculation. Hey, that is fact. 
That's because Villapoto's a beast. But Villapoto is a beast. But how many times have I told ben you? Ben Townley that? was a beast, especially on 250s. You know who? You know who was third fastest that year? Josh fucking Graham. The fuck are you saying? He was fucking third fastest this year. <laughs> he, <walked out> the <laughs> he was a beast this year. He was, and then he got hurt like he always does. I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying, dude. I'm sorry. I'm I need sorry. more of this screwdriver. It's all I'm saying. You are killing me. Why? Because Kenny's faster and Stu's better? <laughs> Where are we going with this? Stu's better, Kenny's faster than new. We're all Tomac all and Stewart's place. better than Villapoto. These motherfuckers. Uh, dude, I told you, you should have got Tommy D. Why, why, why am I getting lumped into this? I don't know. Me and this fucker, me I'm and just this, over here listening. Me and this fucker have been debating this for like 12 <laughs> years, so I don't think anything's ever going to change. At first it was Carmichael, and then I switched to Villapoto. I've been on the Stewart train the whole entire time. Yeah. yeah. Stu, win. Straight up. Super talented, no heart. No heart. What the fuck are you talking about? No heart. Oh, I'm sorry. He broke his navicular, and that ended just about every person's career. Oh, my God. Just saying.